This sign is used to warn drivers that a. The right lane is ending and traffic should merge left. b. The road curves ahead. c. There are upcoming intersections. a. The right lane is ending and traffic should merge left. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. They alert you to conditions that are immediately ahead. This sign warns drivers that the number of lanes is reduced ahead and that traffic should merge left. This sign means a. One-way traffic. b. Intersection ahead. c. Merging traffic from the right. c. Merging traffic from the right. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. They alert you to conditions that are immediately ahead. This sign tells drivers to prepare to allow traffic to safely merge from the right. This sign means A. Road construction maintenance area. B. Side road. C. Railroad ahead. A. Road construction maintenance area. Diamond-shaped signs are used to warn of actual or possible hazards. The color orange is used for warning signs usually found in construction or maintenance areas. Double solid yellow line markings down the center of a road indicate that passing is A. Allowed from both directions. B. Allowed only from your direction of travel. C. Not allowed from either direction. Want to ace you DMV test? Go to CheatSheets.com and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. What message will be found on this yellow pennant shaped sign? A. Right turns only. B. Right turns permitted. C. No passing zone. C. No passing zone. Pennant-shaped yellow signs like this are used to indicate a no passing zone. A solid yellow arrow on a traffic signal means A. You should speed up so you can make the turn before the light changes. B. You do not need to signal to turn from the indicated lane. C. You should prepare to stop and yield the right of way to oncoming traffic. C. You should prepare to stop and yield the right of way to oncoming traffic. A solid yellow arrow means that the protection of a green arrow is ending. If you are turning in the direction of the arrow, you should prepare to stop and yield the right of way to oncoming traffic before turning. This sign means A. Pedestrian crossing. B. Side road. C. Railroad ahead. A. Pedestrian crossing. This sign indicates that there is a pedestrian crosswalk. This road sign means A. The roadway ends ahead. B. Drivers must bear either right or left. C. A four-way intersection is ahead. B. Drivers must bear either right or left. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. This sign warns drivers that they are arriving upon a fork in the road and they must bear either right or left. If you are involved in an accident, one of the immediate requirements is to a. Render aid to the injured. B. Notify your insurance agent. C. Notify the Secretary of State's office. A. Render aid to the injured. Do not assume that a person is not injured simply because that person says they are not. Send for professional help as soon as possible. What message will be found on a red octagon-shaped sign? A. Do not enter. B. One way. C. 
stop c stop an octagonal eight-sided sign always means stop you must always come to a complete stop at this sign this road sign means a pedestrian crossing b school crossing c jogging trail a. Pedestrian crossing. Warning signs provide notice to road users of a situation that might not be readily apparent and are usually yellow with black markings. This sign tells drivers to be alert to crossing pedestrians. When driving at night on a dimly lit street, you should A. Drive slowly enough that you can stop within the area illuminated by your headlights. B. Turn on your high beam headlights to better see the vehicles ahead of you. C. Keep the instrument panel lights bright to be more visible to other drivers. A. Drive slowly enough that you can stop within the area illuminated by your headlights. You should drive more slowly at night than during the day because it is not possible to see as far ahead at night. You should make sure that you can stop within the area illuminated by your headlights. Only fill in the blank can lower blood alcohol concentration BAC, and reduce alcohol's effects on a body. A. Drinking caffeine. B. Eating foods high in fat. C. Time. C. Time. The only way to sober up after drinking alcohol is to allow time for your body to eliminate the alcohol in your system. Nothing you can do, including eating and drinking, can accelerate this process. This sign means A. Four lane traffic ahead. B. Divided highway ahead. C. Two way traffic ahead. C. Two way traffic ahead. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. They alert you to conditions that are immediately ahead. This sign warns that you are leaving a separated one way highway and will soon be driving on a two way highway. When passing another car, you have enough space to return to the driving lane. A. If the other driver signals for you to re-enter the lane. B. If you look over your shoulder and see the passed car behind you. C. If you can see both of the passed vehicle's headlights in your rearview mirror. C. If you can see both of the passed vehicle's headlights in your rearview mirror. Before you return to the driving lane when completing a pass, be sure there is a safe gap between your vehicle and the passed vehicle. When you can see both headlights of the vehicle in your rearview mirror, it is safe to return to the driving lane. Allow extra space in front of your vehicle when following a A. Station wagon B. Passenger vehicle C. Motorcycle C. Motorcycle. Allow for extra space when driving behind a motorcycle. Motorcycles can stop more quickly than other vehicles can and you must have adequate room to stop if the motorcyclist brakes or falls off. Also, remember that motorcycles are difficult to see at night because they only have one tail light. When passing another vehicle, it is safe to return to your lane if you A. Cannot see the vehicle directly to your right. B. See the vehicle's headlights in your rearview mirror. C. Have passed the other vehicle's front bumper. B. See the vehicle's headlights in your rearview mirror. Before returning to your original lane after passing, you must make sure you are not dangerously close to the vehicle you have just passed. When you can see both of the vehicle's headlights in your rearview mirror, you may have enough room to return to the lane.
If a truck or bus is making a right turn where you also need to make a right turn, you should a. Quickly turn before the truck or bus is able to b. Wait until the truck or bus turns before you turn c. Squeeze between the truck or bus and the curb b. Wait until the truck or bus turns before you turn if you try to insert your vehicle between a turning truck or bus and a curb, you may suffer a serious crash. To avoid a collision, do not turn until the truck or bus has completed its turn. No passing zone, signs tell drivers. A. To speed up slightly. B. That it is not safe to pass. C. To maintain a steady speed b. That it is not safe to pass. If you come across a, no passing zone, sign, it is not legal to pass in the indicated area. You are likely driving in an area with restricted visibility where it would be unsafe to pass another vehicle. This road sign means, a. Intersection ahead. b. Merging traffic. c. Steep hill ahead. C. Steep hill ahead. Warning signs provide notice to road users of a situation that might not be readily apparent and are usually yellow with black markings. This sign warns drivers of an upcoming steep hill. Drivers should adjust their speed accordingly to avoid collisions and brake damage. When driving on gravel or dirt roads, a. Your tires grip the road better than when you are driving on pavement. b. Your tires do not have as much traction as they do on pavement, so you must slow down. c. Visibility is better than on pavement. b. Your tires do not have as much traction as they do on pavement, so you must slow down. Your tires do not have as much traction on loose gravel and dirt roads as they do on concrete and asphalt roads. When driving on gravel or dirt, you must slow down. It will take you much longer to stop and it is much easier to skid when turning. If you must park your vehicle in an area not usually used for parking? A. Park with your reverse lights on. B. Make sure your vehicle is visible to drivers approaching from any direction. C. Park 5 feet from the curb. B. Make sure your vehicle is visible to drivers approaching from any direction. Drivers are responsible for making sure their vehicles do not become hazards after they have been parked. Wherever you park, make sure your car is visible to drivers approaching from any direction. A solid yellow line on your side of the center line means a. Reduce your speed. b. Traffic light ahead. c. Do not pass. c. Do not pass. Solid yellow lines on two-lane roads indicate zones where passing is prohibited. If a solid yellow line appears next to a broken yellow line, drivers in the lane nearest to the solid yellow line may not pass. In some instances, both yellow lines will be solid, indicating that it is not safe to pass from either direction. This sign shows one type of A. Intersection B. Road curve C. Right turn A. Intersection Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. They alert you to conditions that are immediately ahead. This sign warns drivers that another road crosses the highway ahead. If you want to enter the freeway but you don't see a gap in traffic, you should a. Maintain your speed and force the other drivers to create a gap. b. Slow down on the ramp to wait for a gap. c. Stop at the end of the ramp to wait for a gap. B. Slow down on the ramp to wait for a gap. 
If you want to enter the freeway but do not see a space for your vehicle in traffic, slow down on the ramp to wait for a gap. Do not drive to the end of the ramp and wait for a gap or you will not have enough room to accelerate to the speed of traffic before entering the roadway. If you are driving near a large commercial vehicle, you should a. Follow the large vehicle closely to reduce wind drag in your vehicle. b. Avoid driving beside it for long stretches of time. c. Drive on its right side when on curves and hills. b. Avoid driving beside it for long stretches of time. Because large commercial vehicles have large blind spots on each side, you should avoid driving beside them for long periods of time. This road sign means a. Steep grade ahead. b. The road ahead winds with a series of turns or curves. c. Slippery when wet. c. Slippery when wet. Warning signs provide notice to road users of a situation that might not be readily apparent and are usually yellow with black markings. This sign warns drivers to be careful when driving under wet conditions as the pavement will become slippery and more difficult to navigate safely. Reaction time is slower after a. Drinking alcohol b. Sleeping c. Working hard a. Drinking alcohol Alcohol slows your reflexes and reaction time, reduces your ability to see clearly, and makes you less alert. As the amount of alcohol in your body increases, your judgment worsens and your driving skills decrease. You will have trouble judging distances, speeds, and the movement of other vehicles. This sign means a. Reserved parking for persons with disabilities. B. Slow-moving vehicle. C. No U-turn. This road sign means A. Sharp turn to the right ahead. B. Upcoming sharp left and right turns. C. Winding road ahead. C. Winding road ahead. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. This sign warns the driver that there is an upcoming winding road. Speed should be adjusted appropriately. This sign means A. There is a 35 miles per hour speed zone after the curve ahead. B. Drive no slower than 35 miles per hour around the upcoming curve. C. Approach the upcoming curve at a speed of 35 miles per hour or slower. C. Approach the upcoming curve at a speed of 35 miles per hour or slower. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. They alert you to conditions that are immediately ahead. These signs may be accompanied by speed advisory plaques that indicate the speed with which you should proceed. This sign means A. Pedestrians walking along the road ahead. B. Pedestrian crossing ahead. C. Pedestrians must not cross here. B. Pedestrian crossing ahead. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. This sign alerts drivers to where pedestrians may be crossing. If a pedestrian is crossing in a crosswalk marked with this sign, drivers must stop and remain stopped until the pedestrian is no longer in the crosswalk. Drivers are required to obey instructions from a. Security guards patrolling parking lots. b. Other drivers whose vehicles are broken down on the roadway. c. Flaggers signal persons at construction sites. C. Flaggers signal persons at construction sites. Drivers must obey special signs or instructions given by flaggers. They are in place to keep drivers and workers safe.
What does this road sign indicate? A. Directions for children. B. School zone ahead. C. Playground area ahead. B. School zone ahead. Pentagonal signs indicate that you are in or are approaching a school zone and or school crossing. Be aware of children when driving near a school zone and follow posted speed limits. What is the only medically proven method of removing alcohol or other drug combinations from your system? A. Breathe in some fresh air. B. Give your body time. C. Drink coffee. B. Give your body time. Alcohol takes effect quickly and is slow to leave your system. Cold showers, black coffee, and exercise will do nothing to reduce a person's blood alcohol content, BAC. The only way to lower your BAC is to wait. This sign means you are approaching a railroad crossing that does not have a signal. You should a. Come to a complete stop. b. Proceed at a consistent speed while looking and listening for approaching trains. c. Slow down, look both ways, listen for any trains, and be prepared to stop if any trains are nearby. This sign means a. No U-turn. B. No left turn. C. No right turn. C. No right turn. Where this sign is posted, it is prohibited to make a right turn. It would be unsafe and unlawful to make a right turn at an intersection with this sign. This road sign means A. Drive with caution and be ready to stop. B. You must come to a complete stop. C. Stop, if necessary. B. You must come to a complete stop. The stop sign is the only eight-sided sign you will see on any roadway. When you encounter a stop sign, you must come to a complete stop. You may not proceed until the way is clear for you to completely and safely pass through the intersection. A driver should a. Assume all drivers automatically obey the right-of-way rules. b. Assume most drivers obey the right-of-way rules. c. Always be prepared to yield the right-of-way. c. Always be prepared to yield the right-of-way. Although the right-of-way rules provide a guide to determine who should yield the right-of-way at an intersection, no one should assume they automatically have the right-of-way. The situation and circumstances at an intersection must always be considered. Drivers should yield their legal right of way if it can help prevent a collision. Driving under the influence of any medication which impairs your driving is permitted. A. Under no circumstances. B. If you don't feel drowsy. C. If it is prescribed by a physician. A. Under no circumstances. It is illegal to drive under the influence of any substance that impairs your ability to drive safely. This includes alcohol, prescription medications, over-the-counter medications, and illegal drugs.